Hi friends, hope you all are doing good. So today uh, I'm going to discuss some SQL queries which were not discussed in the previous video. Now I hope you all are familiar with this interface. This is the interface of SQL or you can say open office uh, base. So in this we can create the database, we can create the table and we can write down some queries to extract the data from the tables. Okay, so today we will discuss the query select command, alter command and the drop command. Now, first of all, that what is the use of select command? Now, select command is used to fetch the data from a table. That means whatever data we have stored in a table that can be extracted from there or that can be retrieved from there with the help of the select command. Now, let's do that. Uh, see, I have created a table students table and the, in my previous video, I have explained that how we can create a table in open office base. So you can check it from there. Now, see, this is a table in which I have four columns, student ID, student name, st student age and the address. Now I have four records regarding this table. So let's fetch this data from this table. So how we are going to use the select command? First, we will go to the Tools tab, then SQL. Then here we are going to write down select asterisk from table name. Now the table name is students one, students. Okay. Now semicolon and execute this. So command is successfully executed, but we didn't receive any result. So for uh, viewing the result what we can do we can go to the queries part and from here click here click create query in SQL view Now here we can write down the same query select asterisk from Students Now go to the edit option and run query so you can see this is how we can extract the data from the database or from any table. So it is going to show you all the columns in the table, whether there are 15 columns, whether there are 50 columns, whether there are 30 columns, but all will appear here and the data, all the records will appear here with the help of asterisk option. Now the second condition is that if I need to show only one or two columns or three columns or the customized columns from the table so in that case we will not write down the asterisk we are going to write down the name of the column which we want to display so there can be a query that write a query to display the uh, student id like this and student name so we are going to write the column name as it is we cannot change the name of the columns now we are going to execute it. See. Okay. Now there is an error. Why there is an error? Because the name of the column is not matching. What is the name of the column in the tables? Now what was the name? First it was student ID. That was S underscore ID. But the name, student name was not like this. It was name was in small like N was in capital letters and the other letters were small. That's why. Now let's check again. Now see, we are having the two records. That means two columns, uh, student ID and the student name. And we have four records. Now if I want to see the age also, then I'll write A, G, E, small g, E. Okay. Let's run this. Now you can see we have one more column with our uh, that is H. Now this was how we can display the different columns and how we can display the, all the records. Whenever there is a question that display all the records, that means we have to use asterisk. Otherwise, if the columns are specified, then you can use this. Now next thing, if we want to give some condition here, like where student id is equals to 101 semicolon 
that means we want to display the student id student name and student age from students table where the student id is 101 so we will go to edit run query now you can see we have only one record of the student whose id is 101 so this is how we can give the conditions or you can give a condition uh, like where age is equals to 15 okay so now we have the records where the age is 15 so this is how equal to operator is used in the condition so similarly you can use the greater than operator let's check now in greater than you have this because the ch uh, students who are having age 16 or 17 they appeared here and if i write down less than 16 okay now what is going to happen it is going to show the a uh, student whose age is less than 16 and the students are akash and tanuja so this is how you can use equal to greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to etc now if i want to give some range like i want to check the data uh, in some range like uh, age is greater than 15 and it uh, it should be less than 18 so what we can do in that case we are going to write down first the minimum value that is 15 and operator is used to combine two conditions then after that we can write down less than 18 so it is going to show you the records which are great with whose age is greater than 15 and less than 18 let's check see this is the result but if i want to include the students whose age is less than or equal to 15 sorry greater than or equal to 15 and less than and equal to 18 that means i want to include 15 also and 18 also so in that case we need to put equal to here so we'll write down equal to less than equal to now let's check now so you have four records the students who are having age 15 also 16 also 17 also whatever age is included between 15 to 18 and 15 and 18 is also included so this is how we can give the conditions now the next command is alter command now what is the use of alter command that is it is a ddl command that is that means data definition command data definition a language and it is used for altering the table structures now we have already learned how to create the table structure using the create table command so we can so now we have already created the tables so we don't want to uh, create the table again we can edit the data or edit the structure of the table in that okay so in alter command we have different options that means we can add a column to the existing table we can change the data type of any column or modify its size we can rename any existing column and we can drop a column from the table that means we can delete a column from the table now let's check how we can use that first we'll go here go to tools SQL we will write down now we want to add a new column to the table existing table that is students so we'll write down alter table now table name is students add we have to write down add column now what should be the column name suppose we want to give the column name state and we we need to give the data type for that so we can give varchar and suppose the size is uh, 10 so let's execute this now command is successfully executed let's check whether the column has been added or not now open this now you can see 
that a new column is there that is state now for modifying the column we will write down alter table and the table name then we will write down modify and the column name which you want to modify suppose I want to modify s underscore id to varchar and that should be 20 size so you can modify your column like this now in case if you want to add some data to the record or to the column which you have added that was the state column how you are going to do that first we will write down update students is the table name set now what we want to set we want to set the state now this is a and this is the data so it should be in the single quotes now state suppose we want to write Delhi condition we have to give the condition where we have to update this data suppose we want to update the data of the child whose ID is 101 so we can write down S ID is equals to 101 so command has been successfully executed close this and we'll try to open the table now see here we have updated the data of first student whose ID was 101 so this is how you can add the data in the table which is existing already and you have created a new column in that now next case is suppose uh, in alter command we can also drop a column now this was the state column if you want to delete this first we'll learn how to rename a column see go to this SQL command alter table now table name is students rename column Suppose we want to change this name to roll number. So this is how you can change the column name or you can rename the column name from one name to the another. Now if you want to delete the column which you have created so for that you will write down alter table table name that is students after that we will write down drop column now what is the column name that is state so here your command will be executed now close it and try to open the table and you will see the column which we have created early that was state now it's not appearing here okay now the last command that is how we can delete any table see we have learned how we can delete the records from the table with the help of delete command we can delete the records from the table but how we can delete the table from the database that is the use of drop command okay so we are going to write down drop table now I'm taking this table table 1 as I'm not having much data in this so I'll write down table 1 and this see command successfully executed we are going to close this and we need to close this now see we are going to open the database again here we have the table students now you can see table 1 has been deleted from here that means the complete table 
the structure of the table has been deleted from here so i hope you all have understood uh, so it's my request please try, uh, subscribe my channel i'll be very thankful to you thank you so much